Guten Abend. Good evening. Now we should all be on on screen. You want to wave? In oh, order to wave. We have a new group here today. We have a group but, uh, who we got together from around the world, you could actually say, I think. Well, yeah, really. Of, from yeah. very, very different time zones anyway, to play some Conan 2D20. Now, I've recently experimented with it a bit. Uh, I'm by no means an expert. We have a couple of real good experts here in the players, so they'll tell me when I go wrong. Uh, but I'm really excited to actually get this game underway. I've always wanted to play more Conan, and especially seeing as it's not D&D. Uh, no offense to anybody. And <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited to have this group together. Now we are going to set our scene, lay our scene here um, in Shem. And one of our resident experts was just explaining to us what Shem is and what it's like. So, Septimus, would you like to do that again, please? Uh, of course. So Shem is a, a country that is uh, more a collection of city-states than a single government, a single under a single ruler. Uh, there uh, are a number of city-states uh, scattered across a wide band of territory from the grasslands um, that border Argos to the west to fading out into desert um, bordering Turan and the east. The city-states are all connected culturally, but not so much um, politically. They are very independent and they're constantly, uh, I think the word in the book is uh, they are constant, uh, they, stri they strive against one another. They're constant, squ constantly squabbling. Uh, they are bound on, it's, what's that? It's a competition between- Competition, the yeah. They're constantly trying to get one over the other to mm -hmm. try and uh, accumulate power. To the south lies the uh, nation, the mysterious nation of Stygia, which is a uh, land haunted by Father Set, uh, a land of pyramids and sorcery. To the north uh, is Koth and Karaja. On the other side of the mountain, looking at the map here, they call them the Mountains of Fire. Yeah. Um, and the nation of Turan to the west, it, Turan to the west is constantly attempting to expand uh, expand west into the uh into the lands of the Hybori and trying to conquer Shen. Excellent. I, political briefing and everything is excellent. Really excellent. <laughs> so and I've got the little portraits here of our of our players. Um who wants to just introduce himself? Do you want to go in this order that I've got you on screen? That would be Derzo first. I also want to say maybe who he is and who he plays. Uh, yeah, uh, that would be me. Uh, my character is uh, Durso, a uh, Stygian warrior, fairly basic, no special background. Uh, he's a survivor of the uh, recent battle, which I think we will start a game at, from yep. what you told us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, really nothing special about him. Is just there and got luck in this fight. You think? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, getting luck in the fight. Okay. Right. So good. Um, next one on my screen. I'm just using my tokens here. Would yeah. be Moataz. All right. Uh, Moataz. He is a Karajan scholar. Uh, not very strong at all, but very strong intellectually wise. I spent most of his young age studying and everything, and then took uh, to being a scribe and interpreter for the Karajan army to get some money for more study work and explore. All right, so not a military type. Not a military type, but intellectual. Good. good. Next, that would be the guy on the horse. Who's that? Septimus. Septimus is the seventh son of a minor Gunderlandian noble. Uh, as such, he was thrown out to the uh, Pictish frontier as a mercenary, a guard, a soldier in the Aquilonian army. And um, over time, he has found his way east and is now uh, riding with the guards of this uh, I guess embassy to uh, Kara this Karajan embassy. So 
sounds very exciting. On a, on a trip, on a business trip, you could say. Bios, <laughs> why are you here? Why am I here? Um, I'm a sort of Bosonian Bison scout living off the lands. Uh, my family were not too long ago murdered by a Pictish warband, and I've been uh, living a sort of solitary life flames of vengeance, trying to hunt them down where I can uh, until I realised that it's not a great life. And I uh, joined a mercenary band that happened to be travelling through. Uh, life sounded a bit more interesting with a group of people rather than living off my own. And hence it's brought me all the way down to Shem. All the way down to Shem. Right. So let's see whether we can get this started with a little bit of exposition. So there's a little bit of text. You have to be slightly patient with me here as I read it out. Um, I'm going to probably abridge it slightly. We are in the It's a hot day. Vultures spiral above the battlefield and blood soaks into the rocky ground from hundreds of dying men and their horses, a grim reminder from the desperate hours prior. For those who fought and died, the battle was as purposeless as any. Prince Satabus, we have a few names here. Yeah, if you want me to write them out, please say. Prince Satabus of Karaja was tricked into bringing an army to aid King Ulam Kala of Akpitana in a war against his cousin, King Nezurab of Shumir. Got all that? Another one of Shem's eastern city-states. I have put the right thing on. No, I haven't got the module on. Otherwise, I could have displayed all of that on screen. So confident of the outcome was Satabis that he brought with him his bride to be a Stygian noblewoman named Neferet. I'm going to put her name down. Neferet. So I'm going to put that in the chat for you. Um, along with her closest handmaiden, with them also was a small delegation. Some of you might have been you. Envoys and court officials, they bought princely gifts to cement the deep and everlasting friendship between Karaja and Akpitana. A chest containing fistfuls of gems, urns of precious oil, bowls of Turanian and Kitan silks and other fine cloth, ingots of precious metal and measures of rare and fragrant wood, a sumptuous collection of finery befitting a royal visit. The battle was over before it could even begin. In the days prior to Satabas' arrival, Ulam Kala and Nezurab had made peace with one another. Messages travelling via messenger bird. The two Shemitish um, kings agreed to unite and destroy Satabas' army as a show of solidarity, an act of betrayal that would serve to weaken courage and resolve against further incursions into Shem. Seeing that the day was lost, Satabas sounded the order to flee, and as horns echoed across the desert, his mercenary army scattered across the dry plains and into the nearby foothills and heartbaked gullies. They were pursued by the Ashuri, picked off one by one. Satabas and his cater of knights fought valiantly to protect his beloved Neferet, but the caravan with her litter was cut off in the retreat. Their fate is as yet unknown. Whatever their reason for being present, you lot are the only apparent survivors within the current view as you pick yourself out of the dust where you've been hiding from some roaming bands of Shemites. So, you were members of the army, members of the embassy, if you want to call it that, members of whatever, but why are you here? What role did you play in the battle, and what are you doing currently? Starting with... You can choose yourself, or I can pick. We just start from left to right. As we did. Yeah. Sure. Go from left to right as the tokens are on the screen. Okay. Uh, yeah, Durso was a mercenary warrior, so uh, recruited into Satapus. Satapus army? Yeah. Yeah, Satapus. Uh, he, with more luck than skill, he made it through this battle and is now currently. Uh, gathering himself on the battlefield, uh, seeing if members of his unit are still alive, uh, and basically looking for someone to tell him what to do. No no leadership qualities in this one. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Moetas was more of a military scribe and interpreter, so not that much military experience, so he mostly stood back. That's how I assume he would survive this battle. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he got away, luckily, but lost the main group. What are you clutching? Have you got uh, your, clutching, your salary books uh, and so on? Yeah, I have. He has on his side a notebook, a small notebook, and his other side a dagger. Not really going to fight, but if he needs to, he will use it. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's next? Septimus. So Septimus uh, is a was a mercenary captain, um, or not captain, but uh, lieutenant um, under the Prince Satibus of it's Prince Satibus of Karaja. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he was a, a mercenary um, lieutenant. So his his uh, he's probably his command or all of his troops got uh, wiped out uh, one by one, uh, either during the battle or are in the retreat uh, from the arrows of the Ashuri. And he's probably um, uh, picking his way through the um, through the bodies, looking for his men to give them a uh, proper burial at this point, uh, to the extent that we can. Mm-hmm. Good. I just put some of the, the information on the screen and in the chat for you, so you've got all the names. Uh, and just so I got this right, the one he was uh, coming to aid was the one betraying him with uh, this second king. That's right. Yeah. All right. Just for good measure. Make <laughs> it really confusing for everybody. <laughs> just a, a quick word. This Vultures of Shem uh, scenario is not one I wrote. So any names and so on. Uh, not down to me. Right, that leaves Krios. Krios. Um, so Krios would have been uh, recruited as a mercenary uh, um, to uh, put it to act as a scout because that's where his skills is. So he was probably a sort of forward scout with his, maybe a small bunch of other scouts. And when the uh, when the ar- when the armies came in and and attacked uh, the prince, he was probably not in a battle. He was maybe forward of it. Mm-hmm. And he's come back to see the scenes of death and destruction, and is now looking around for okay, uh, where is my master, or, or where is someone of command, uh, and maybe where is the bride? Who out of you four looks like the most likely commander here? Who's got the presence and the battlefield experience and so on? Become the, the, the leader. That would be Septimus. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Septimus. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, so, towards you. Yeah. I'm going to uh, start ga- gathering whatever uh, survivors there are. Um, point over to, uh, to uh, I can't remember the names now. Durzo, you there. Come help help with the, help gather uh, supplies. We, we have to... Um, We'll need to gather some supplies if we're going to survive this desert. And uh, happy that he has some guidance. Dorsa is happy to oblige and uh, goes over to his new uh, commander, helping <laughs> him with the tasks at hand. I actually have another map I, I found for you guys. I'm going to just show you briefly. To test this out. You should have a pop up map now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. So you can see Karaja and you can see Akbitana and you can see Shumia. Mm-hmm. So if I remember correctly, um you were trying to help the prince of Akbitana against the guy of Shumia. But we were betrayed. But you were betrayed before you actually reached the first of the cities. So that map is also from one of the old source books. Oh yeah, look, we've got the right places on here. Good. So you're standing around. You are starting to seek um, supplies, mainly. Did I get that right? Yeah. Well, just... Okay. What now? Let's have a look. Um, 
you're low on food, you're low on water, you've got a few things, but you were basically hoping to return to camp somewhere. The camp would have had a lot of this stuff. Um, a day and a half ago, you passed a um, an oasis that you could set out for. And of course, you could seek out where, where your master or where the prince or the princesses or whatever went. But if you want to spend a little bit of time looking around here, you can do me an observation test. Um, that could, and then you can tell me whether you're looking for loot, or you can do a survival test, and I might let you find some food instead. But mainly, if you're looking for prepackaged stuff like water or whatever, then um, it's just an observation test. I think I want to just do a wide scouting exercise, looking for danger. That's my focus. Okay. Because we're a small group of survivors, and if there's any large elements of the army out there, we're in trouble. So my focus is looking for risks. Looking for risks. Okay. Um, and meanwhile, if you are looking, uh, see if there's any other survivors. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Might be good. Do we want to? Although I'm, I'm fine going on my own. Maybe one we want to stick in pairs, just in case something happens. Okay, then I will go with. I will go with Krios. And look for survivors. Okay. Okay. And Septimus and I will uh, basically scour the battlefield for supplies. Yeah. So my focus would not be on loot, but for maybe some rations, some water skins, just some. It would be on the farm. Uh, Food and water. water. Mm -hmm. yeah. Food and water. They actually include a particular loot table for this activity. But before we get there, can okay. I have from those people looking for the likely position of the, the other army and so on, a warfare test? And that's warfare an test. average warfare, so difficulty one warfare test. Both of us? Um, you can either do it, both of you, or one of you can do it and the other person can assist. I, I will assist. Okay. Oh, so, no, the, the other two. The other two. Okay. Um, I'll take uh, I'll take the roll then. Yeah, my warfare is not too great. You're uh, the clever one. One success. One success is actually what you needed. Okay. It's uh, Krios one to assist because then you rolled. Uh, I think there's a an option on the. You can roll one d twenty. Roll and then you get one d twenty. I just roll one d twenty. Do I? That's right. And if it's a success, basically it gets added. The assists should usually um, roll first. This right, could be a momentum though. Sure. Might be. It might give you momentum. You're currently sitting on Big Fat Zero. Where's, where's the dice roll if it's just one dice? Um, you should be able to just click on the skill. Okay. Warfare, and that should pop up a little thing. And then there is a... Um, there used to be a assist button, but you can just click one of the... the bottom one of the dice away. But if you click on the question mark. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, this has changed since I last played it. Okay. So <laughs> one success is what you needed. So well, that's good enough. And what do you find? Well, you work out that basically you know that these troops will be circling back to your, your opponents and that they're definitely going to look for survivors to try and either loot, uh, loot them or maybe arrest them, maybe take them captive and enslave them and sell them on or something like that. So it's definitely not a good place to hang around. You reckon that Satibus and his knights will have probably taken the royal caravan north towards the mountains? Because there's lots of foothills and gullies there. That's better place to hide than the, the plane right. you're currently standing. Okay. Um, so that gives you what the warfare gives you. Um, yeah, probably footmen patrols for mop-up, but there might be some riders as well. You definitely need to have your head on a swivel. Yeah, we don't hang around here too long. No. Yeah. Do a quick scout. Yeah. Okay, hey, let's go to the other two. Do you want to do a survival test? Or if you just want to basically look for natural natural resources, or you can do an observation if you're looking for whatever's left on the battlefield. Uh, observation to look for whatever's left on the battlefield. Okay. Yeah, same for me. Hmm? It's just an average test. Yeah, that's actually Ooh. average. Yeah, D1, that's right. Oh, complete. That's a bad start. Oh, that's a great start. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, okay. you found nothing. Oh, yeah. That's two complications. Oh. That's really bad. <laughs> Unlearn. Uh, 
really? Yeah, you've got to focus on zero, yep. so it's two complications. What am I yeah. going to do with two complications? I think you're basically looking around, and um, there's a sort of little gully, and there's some some corpses lying down there, and you're going down there, and you see some gauze spattered gear there, but nothing that actually you're looking for. But because you're in this sort of dip in the country, um, in, the, in the landscape, you, you don't notice there's another group coming by. And as you're just clambering back out, you see yourself in front of a couple of soldiers, of Chemitish uh, soldiers who are basically just standing right in front of you and um, grinning at you and say, oh, look who we found. Uh, how many are we talking here? We are talking about, let's say, three. Right, let me just change to a scene. Hopefully I've got a nice battle map for this. And then we take yes, a so, I think there's a clue there, battle map. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to get you to this one, but I need to check my configuration before I do so. Because I always forget to switch off the token views, and then you, you complain about not being able to see anything. So I'll drag you on here. Who have we got? That was Septimus. Septimus and Moitaz. Okay, I need to make that. Septimus and Moitaz. That looks a bit better. So, Septimus Mortas. The other two will right. surely soon come uh, and help. Sure, they will. Right, and then we've got uh, one, two of these. That'll do for now. So, you're coming back out, and I'm going to get you on the map so you know what I'm talking about. So, there can you see go. the map? Uh, I can see the map. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I just need to get my soldiers. Um, it's just uh, if I may quickly, uh, I was teaming up with Septimus. So yeah, Motash with me. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So oh, much. all right. You can I thought Motash was... yourself around on the map. So um, you are actually quite close to them. So you're going to be, as you come out of your little hole in the ground, you're going to be in the same zone already. But you're basically just facing each other off the two groups. There's four in total, four soldiers. So each okay. of those tokens stands for two, using the mob rules sort of thing. Okay. And they just grin at you. Oh, look. They still have their stuff on it. It's time to be pill for them, isn't it? You understand their language, I assume? No. No, <laughs> but if you don't understand the language, you understand the it's meaning. <laughs> you, oh, we understand their meaning, all right. You get the meaning, all right. <laughs> and uh, they are, what are they armed with, in case you want to know? Um, they have spears and they have a short sword, um, but basically they're currently just holding their spears in their hand. The small shield is each, and they are lightly armored as well. So... Okay. Initiative in this game works. Okay, you were surprised, but not that surprised. So you're still at enough distance that I don't get a free attack on you. So initiative basically is players usually go first. And amongst the players, you can choose who goes first. Sort of popcorn initiative. And you can use Doom Koyu to grab initiative. If I wanted to, I could uh, use some Doom to grab the initiative. But yeah, let's see. I want to, want to kill you right there. So do you want to go first? Or I can. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. Uh, quite Go a for point, it. But uh, still quite attentive from the previous battle. Uh, grab my spear and just stab at the nearest one. Are you actually uh, getting ready to fight, not ready to run? No, no. Uh, not sure we can outrun them. I think they're fourth, those guys. So uh, seizing the initiative. You could blow your big um, horn, which you probably don't have to call your mates. Um, <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> well, well so you're getting ready. You can, um, yeah. you can step towards them. You're close enough, actually, and just be able. I just say. Uh, yeah, because you said close, so I think it's a free action to yeah. basically move into move to close reach. up. And reach? I'm just going to move okay. them slightly apart so we can manage that a bit better. And you can try and attack them. Yeah, right. So to attack uh, them on your character I sheet, yeah. I will I give you one doom to. Uh, Make sure I hit this one. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. And there he's go. got four successes. Look at that. That's, That's how you do it. Well, well. Um, so 
basically going to fear doing the damage. These are so, minions, um, so they're I not going to try and dodge or anything like that. Okay, so I can spend my momentum to add the uh, damage dice, yeah? You can. You can to... do various things with the momentum. Now, if you look at the little booklet in the top right corner in Foundry, there is a document which I haven't shared with you cleverly, which um, is called Rules Reference. Yeah. And if you ever need to look something up, you can click in there. For example, Momentum Spends are in there, and Doom Spends, and Herbalism, and so on. Come combat actions. If you ever need the reference, you can go to that. But yeah, you can spend it's repeatable um, a doom to add damage. And I believe there's an option to ignore armor if you wanted to. Spears already have piercing. Oh, so yes. it's just a uh, plus one damage per yeah, plus momentum. One. Yeah, but first it can all, be if, if you want to. First of all, roll the damage, and then you can still add That's if you right. need. It. Oh. Yeah, so there's essentially there's two people standing in front of you. So that is seven damage on the right leg. That is quite yeah, a good great. roll. Because with my <laughs> No Mercy talents, I can re-roll one of those. Okay, <laughs> so it's now nine physical damage. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they do have a little bit of armor, but you're piercing. You have one effect, uh, and it's piercing one, so it ignores one of the uh, armor, correct? Yeah. Did I get that right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, get a thumbs yes. up there. <laughs> so that means that eight damage get through. Is it? Uh, that's actually a question I have. You guys can help me. If it's two mobs he's attacking as a group, or two two individuals, basically, does the yeah. armor then count twice? I think it only counts once. Yeah, I but think it only counts once. When if, the, before the, the damage the, spills the over to the second over, person, yeah. does it count again? I Did think... You, I'm trying to remember what I've done in the past. I, mean, I would say apply the damage the second time. Right. So, apply the, or the damage, damage apply apply the armor first. a second time. Yeah, the first that's what guy, I would say. Uh, basically is knocked out because he's got bigger five and only can take one wound. So after that, you still have three over, which would be applied to the second person. Armor would take one away. Do you want to spend any momentum on causing extra damage? Um, so I basically, yeah, I think I will spend oh. my uh, three momentum. I this is yeah. uh, what's the momentum spend for ignoring armor? Was that no, no, I will just spend uh, three momentum okay. for three added damage, and that will take care of them as well. Yeah, yeah, I think so. If my math doesn't fail me. Yeah. yeah. So you with but a I, I don't of... see an option for uh, uh, ignore armor. No, this... not everything is automated here. Yeah, so I can look at the damage down there and then ignoring armor. Oh, you mean on the list? There is something I can't remember, but the way you yeah. did it is fine. So you spend yeah. the momentum. Piercing is the one that overcomes armor. Yeah, and piercing yeah. is the effect. The effect is the one you had. Um, So with a flurry, you run towards these guys and with a flurry of spear attacks, you just like a whirlwind, like a dervish in the desert and you, you pierce here and you stab there and basically you get both of them. And then you, you swivel around, put the spear off to the side, and probably growl at the other group. Whereas, I love already. <laughs> yeah. Whereas these guys, you actually have taken out one of the groups already. Oh dear, that was a bit quicker than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm learning how to balance encounters. Right, so Septimus. Uh, I'm going to, I've got a, a, a uh, spear, so spear so i'm basically going to do the, try and do the same thing i'm going to move up on the second group and um uh attack with because spear is what i have in hand that is what i'm going to be using spear all right i reorient how to do this attack um i'm going to uh, i'm going to give you a doom as well how i'm going to roll how attack. much momentum did you spend all the momentum you generated earlier? I think he did, yeah. Okay, so yeah, two damage yeah, momentum you still back down. Right. So, so how does it if I if I add another die, does it automatically do that as a doom spend? You should do that in the in the dice roller if you use a doom right, let's die. See, let's see if I use a doom die. How do I? Yeah. If you click on attack, you get a pop-up, and in that pop-up, you have yeah. a dice purchase. 
Oh, I see it. All right, hold on. Let's start dream. over again. Start over again. There we go. Doom fortune or momentum? No momentum though. There we go. All right. Now, because you both are nice. uh, fighting with spears, we don't actually have to think about reach here, which is nice for me. <laughs> Great success. Makes it easy for you. Yes. All right. So I'm going to uh, stab him with the spear, and uh, let's see what kind of damage I get. Uh huh. Roll the dice. Ah, not great. No. So great. I'm going to re- use one momentum to re-roll three of those. Yeah. Oh wait. It's free, isn't it? That re-roll. I get one free. Uh huh. No, no mercy. Yeah. Yeah, with no mercy. Um, and that is re-roll that way, and that gets me two more, so six. That's pretty good. I think I will use. I can only re-roll dice once per roll, um, but I haven't. Oh, well, I will. Do it together. Yeah, I see. Then I will um, use. Use piercing as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, you actually. Have any uh, effect, did you? Um, uh, yeah, no, I didn't get any effect, so I don't have any piercing. Um, I will go ahead and use um, the other mom- or the one momentum for piercing and one momentum for damage. So um, seven damage, two piercing. The penetration, right here. Yeah. yeah, it's called penetration. Um, yeah, okay. So that means that for the one momentum spent, you ignore two, is that right? Two yeah, armor? right. We ignore all of his armor. So that gives you a total of seven damage. Seven damage. Oh, again, you jump towards them and is slashing and sliding, but you're not doing quite as good a job as Dezo was doing. <laughs> um, but however, one of them actually goes down, and the other one is a little bit injured. So one of those. And okay. There you go. Adjust it. So, from the distance, you hear the other two hear some fighting noises. You're a long, long way away. But you're noticing that there's some shouting and some screaming and pain. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, let's, let's get going. Yeah, I think there's some trouble yeah. this way. Yeah. Okay. All right. Start approaching, but cautiously, just in case there's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Okay, let's have a look. I'm going to run a little discipline check whether this last trooper here decides to just run away. I think I would if I were. I think I would as well. Uh, So it's fortitude. (laughs) And let's see if he passes. No. He he throws his spear to the ground and tries to run away. Do you let him? Um... But I think like you just get uh, an opportunity attack. Like I think there's an speed. exploit on it, isn't there? Wait, how uh, close did we get? How close uh, did me and Krios get? You're not getting that closely that quickly. Unless okay. he... Yeah. There's a chance. Actually, let's do a, a D8. Why and not? Say a number between 1 and 8. Uh, 7. 7. So let's see which direction he runs into. He runs into 6. You might might get a shot with a bow if you have a bow, but you don't. Krios. Oh, Krios has an arrow. Yeah, this guy, you see somebody running slightly at a different angle away from, from them. Um, you might have a shot at them if you want to. Yes. Do I have a ranged weapon, Krios? Yeah, I do. I, I'm constantly got a bow in my hand, but I'm just thinking about, I don't know the situation. I'm just seeing it. And therefore, am I just shooting someone who's purely innocent, even though he looks like a soldier? He looks like a sh- soldier f- of the army who just basically whooped your ass. So can I see lots of dead bodies <laughs> around on the floor? There are some dead bodies. You I mean, can see them. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Course I, I'm going to take it. a, I'm going to take a shot at them. What sort of range would that be? Um, Let's call it long. Which I think the Bosonian longbow you've got is perfect for, right? Yes. I, I no, I, I've not got. Yeah, I I've got a hunting bow. Is that long or is that medium uh, range? It has a no. It's a close range. Close. Oh, okay, let's call it medium then. Yeah. Which makes it one difficulty harder to hit. Okay, I can handle that. 
Unless you've got special talents which allow you to ignore those. Rules. No. Okay, well, he's gone. Uh, I didn't want to spring a uh, fight on you quite as quickly, but hey, you've done really well so far. So it's a difficulty D2 then. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Da, 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 da. I don't think I need any to give you any doom. I don't think you need to. Oh, look at that. I should. <laughs> oh, dear. So you basically, um, you need a tool, get some momentum. You can bank it in a minute. You don't want to spend it, but roll damage before we do anything else. Okay, roll damage. Where's my damage? Should be under the bow that you use. Yeah. Roll it from the action, you get the two buttons right away. But I think it's the same on the on the equipment one. Okay, okay. I see. Nice pink dice, I like it. Oh, we'll do it. Look at that. <laughs> 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 All right, so this guy is looking over his shoulder, running away, and he's just thinking he got away with us. He just thought, oh dear, I quickly need to get to the others, and then we can take revenge. And mm -hmm. then uh, this arrow flies in from the side and gets him in the left leg. Uh, and he just drops to the floor, grunting. He's certainly gone down. You're not quite sure whether he's dead or not, but he's certainly down on and because he's in the middle of the desert, he will not live for long. Okay. Unless you I'll bank, him. I'll bank the momentum. I will. Yeah, you need to remember that that goes down every combat round or every scene. Yes. Yeah. But you yeah, can yeah. bank it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what may happen next. If you can, you can click on the chat card to spend bank and momentum, or you can, I think, right click somewhere. No, it's just the yeah. button now. Oh, okay. I, there's only one to bank, in fact, so that will go in no time. Yeah. We'll go straight away. It will. So, you can rejoin the other group if you like. You've yeah. got something else to loot now if you want to have a look. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Matt, let's get over there. Did you find anything? No, not really. There's. Um, we expect that if the uh, if the bride's anywhere, she's headed off into the uh, the foothills. Uh, and you know we don't want to hang around here too long, so we want to sort of get what we need to quickly and get out of there. Wait, can I go check the person that was shot in the leg? See if he's still alive. You, can. you might be able to get info out of him if he's alive. He is alive, but he's bleeding out quickly. Okay. Uh, can I try to just stop the bleeding? Yeah. That you can do me healing. Uh, Make sure he survives. No successes. You stabilize him, but he's looking at you wide-eyed, scared. He doesn't know what you want with him. Okay. Uh, well, I call the rest of everyone over, saying that we might be able to get info of where the Shemtish army is, or maybe where the princess uh, is as well, if they have her. Before you go over, does anybody want to have a look at the people you just made into corpses? Yes. Uh, yeah, I was wondering. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I just want to make sure. I want to see if they have any water. Water is most critical. If they have any food or water. Um, if they don't. Roll me d20. 1d20. I can do that. You can just uh, do the manual chat command in Foundry. I'll I keep a, I'll uh, keep a card I want to do in this. Yes. It's a one. Yeah. Um, you come across a vest uh, full of gold that he's got on his belt. Well, he doesn't need it anymore. He doesn't need it anymore. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take that. Coin. It's definitely coin. You reckon that they must have plundered it somewhere because a soldier not like that would normally have this much coin. Excellent. Let's call it two gold. Too bad we can't drink gold. No, you can't drink gold. Unfortunately, exactly. Are well, there two more people lying there? 
Anybody else wants to have a look? Well, I, I was wondering, uh, can we loot enough uh, armor and clothes of the corpses in a like reasonable state to pass as the enemy? At least at the quick glance. Well, there were That's four of them. Good idea, that is. You four of us, four of them. You probably could, yes. Yeah. There are four of them, and okay, sizes might not be perfect, but to, to have a cursory glance at you and think, mm. yeah, okay. A lot of the stuff that they're wearing is very loose fitting. So, I mean, yeah, it you could uh, buy us a couple of moments if we encounter more of the enemies. Oh, clever, clever. That's, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, if we can get the robes, uh, if they're not too badly bloodstained. Yeah. Yeah, well, the torn, convention, isn't it? Yeah. these guys were in a battle, and bloody, yeah. battles are bloody places. So you probably you might get away with it. Do you want to just have a look at the other two corpses as well? Just we wrap that up to see whether you find any supplies. So yeah, one d twenty more per corpse you look at. I don't mind who rolls them, because I'm reckoning uh, that I'll you're going to share. Twenty command just slash r d twenty. Yeah, oh. slash r oh. space one d twenty. That's that's the quick manual. Way of doing it. Oh, we said the dice roller. <laughs> or you can use the dice roller, yeah. Um, but it doesn't always work with every every system. So yeah. that's two. Actually, what you notice is that this guy has got what weapons did they have, did I say? Spears and spears. He's got a, a shemite bow. And that Ooh. is just beautifully made. Yeah, it's but not just standard issue that? soldier. This guy must have been investing some time in it, or maybe it's an inherit uh, some some something inherited. But it's definitely really really nice uh, bow. If you do me a craft test, I might tell you uh, what it actually. A craft test. Or you can show it around and see whether somebody here has got crafting. Would you allow me to have a look at it? That's why yeah, I'm yeah. very knowledgeable. I, saying, uh, I would offer the bow to Krios first. Yeah. And he's a bowman. Mm. It would also uh, complement your disguise. Indeed. Good idea. Let me roll a craft test then. What have you got? Dang. Three successes. <laughs> Rolling well tonight. You are definitely rolling well. The one to six, I mean, seriously. Well done. So, um, I would say that the um, it would cause another damage. It's got a very high tension. So it's got like a shemitish bow plus okay. one extra um, damage die on it. Do I nice. so okay. you, Do you want one of those on your character sheet? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do I have one over, I think? Have I shared yeah. them with you? Yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. It's in the. Uh, then you can list. edit it. Share my bow, belonging score. That's right. Um, so that the combat die. Oh, sorry. Yeah, combat die. That's what they're called here. Is um, damage die basically is one higher. Oh, it's just four instead of three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. And then there was the last one. One more d twenty. Come on. Roll something that. middling. Something not really low or really high. Then you get some. <laughs> you want to do it? Otherwise, I can. Septimus uh, hasn't rolled for a body, right? I have. Uh, Sept, you did. Okay. Uh, Why don't you roll? Uh, no, well, I, I'm near the body of uh, the person that I healed. I'll take his weapons and everything, but make sure he doesn't harm us. Uh,. Rios can roll for the third body. Okay. I'm putting the, the loot table here on the, on the stream. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. What will you roll? <laughs> Let's see if I roll three. A 16. Supplies. Ooh. You find oh, a water skin. And you see that in his uh, sling bag, which is sort of loosely hung over his shoulder, he's got some, some dried fruit in there, some dates. Um, so say... Enough to eat for one person for a day, certainly. And the water you can probably share out and stretch it out a little bit. Oh yeah. Wait, does it, uh, the live soldier have water? Can I ask him if he has water? Or do I just search his body? Search him. <laughs> you just search, search him. him. You can ask him if you want to be polite. <laughs> I'll just search. You just search him. He's also, yeah, he has some water. He's got some food. 16 as well. 16 is a good number for that. <laughs> 
So good, yes. So you've got uh, enough food and water for yourselves, you reckon, for a whole day now for the four of you. Where's the stall anyway, isn't it? Yeah, we should we should uh, head off to the the hills o- yeah. oasis, I think. But we also have possibly an informant. We have the soldier. You do can give us that info. Mm-hmm. As you take his water away, he sort of whimpers a little bit and says, You can't leave me here without water. Don't Your friends are oh, I can't hear. It's I can't understand. Else, you, you understand this guy, yes? Like, you know. Yeah, so well, I can interpret. Yeah. yeah. He's you speaking Shemites, is he? Yeah, yeah but I'll interpret. Mm-hmm. So if you guys want to talk to him, just it goes through me in the story, or whatever. Mm-hmm. I guess the, the burning questions would be. Uh, if those four guys were our uh, uh, entire unit, or if there's more guys coming this way? Oh, no, we're not in a unit. We're just striking out. We were told to, to scour the landscape for any survivors, and, of course, to, to look for anything that we might take home as loot. But there's more. And if you found survivors, you had to kill them, are you then? Well, we were trying to do that didn't work out hmm. so what are you going to do with me you know, let me the staff here by your thirst oh i'm sure i'm sure your friends will his friends will be along along soon enough we should uh set out the, uh, wait does your main group have uh i forgot what her name was neferet was it? Neferet, yeah. Yeah. Nefer Does your main group have Neferet? No? I don't know who you're talking about. They might not. Any, any, any of the princes uh, people. Is there uh, equivalent to an inside check in this game? Uh, there probably is. Uh, basically to... Uh, to see what he's lying. It's inside, it's under way. Inside, yeah. Yeah. It is inside, isn't it? Oh, it's I play so many games, yeah. I keep forgetting what they're called and different things. But <laughs> it's, it's personality, I think. There is, a there is, in, there is awareness insight. Awareness, okay. Yeah. Awareness uh, insight. Yeah, the first one on the way. I mean, I'm really bad at that if someone else wants to check that, but I don't mind doing it. If you have no I'm expertise just, or focus, you only roll one die. I'm quite good at it, but I'm just thinking, would I, because I don't understand the language, should it be... It might be increased no, difficulty. I, yeah. Actually, yeah, you're right, Krius. Uh, probably the more. Mortas is the obvious person yeah. to do it. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. And, uh, because he just translates it for you. Um, we don't have momentum. Do we have? Okay, we have one momentum. You have momentum. You have, oh, we not, have not banked it yet, have you, Krius? I did. Yeah, is there one one momentum at the bottom? Okay. okay. There should be two more in the from the last intelligence craft yeah. test you did. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't bank those ones. Yeah, big one. Yeah. There would have been two in there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, I'll use two momentum then. I'll let you have those. I'm going to just add them at the bottom manually. So, ooh, that's a nice roll, isn't oh, it? Oh, two twos, wow. Um, but you only have a focus of zero. Okay. Um, right. You think that he really doesn't know what you're talking about. He must have been one of those foot soldiers, basically, who doesn't really know why they're fighting or... Uh, who the that's attributes. a good thing because that means maybe they're not hunting her down if she's alive I think she's in the hills and if we head to the hills there may also be supplies and maybe a stream or river there as well Moetaz do you know the area well enough to direct us there? Uh, yeah what was the so the first one the first Moetaz. question was if I know the area right? Uh-huh. yeah you're, um, you're from, are you from this area, or? Yeah, I'm from this area. Would I know where to go? Uh, or, uh, dirt, or, um... Well, you know, Raja. you know about that, um... Or Durzo. That oasis. You know about the oasis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you came past that. But you, you're you pretty sure you would be able to find your way home. But if you wanted to do a law check, a challenging one, I could maybe tell you something about the history of it. I can make a lore check and explain it. So we have two successes again. Um, 
Yeah, it was difficulty two, so it's only I needed two, so it doesn't give you momentum. So it's challenging lot has basically you have heard of this place and this history. It's it's used to be called Zuhal Sa. There used to be a realm close by here, like a city state. And um the city state must have been lost or whatever. It was some some disaster story. You can't remember exactly because you weren't listening to the storyteller that closely. But you seem to remember that they were being shunned because their, their land was blighted and beset by drought and people really didn't want to trade with them anymore. So some great evil must have happened. But that must be a long time ago. I'm sure it's not relevant at all to the story. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing you know is in this area, there are some watering holes. They're often found in the gullies. They are often found in the foothills. They're not out here in this baked plain. So that would be going to the north. I think that's where we should head. And hey, if there's old cities there, oh, who knows? Perfect place to hide for this uh, bride. Yeah, my question was, uh, do we have enough supplies to get us there? Or would we think we have enough supplies to get us there? You reckon, if you look at the mountains across the, the desert, it's always hard to really gauge how, diff uh, how, how far they are, but you've got enough for a day without really going hungry. You could possibly stretch it a bit further. You reckon mm. you can get to the mountains, um, but if you don't find something there, you're going to be hungry really soon. In, in, in uh, our uh, travels... It's the oasis you mentioned? The oasis is a day and a bit away. Okay. In our travels here, is there much in a way a game? No. No. There are, however, a good number of dead horses lying about and there are some dead people lying about it depends what you like to eat and vultures we could have chicken there are some vultures <laughs> circling <laughs> and of course coming down for some of the dead animals and dead people and humans taste like chicken as well <laughs> i thought they taste like pork uh, um, i don't horse know meat. i'm terrified if we have two horse meat would why would... you would know that <laughs> But yeah, horse meat, uh, it will go off quite quickly. But right now they're fresh enough to actually harvest some if you want to. Okay, I don't think we should stick around for very much longer. If these guys came along, other people have come, will be coming along after them. Okay, yeah. uh, I, I kind of feel like we should follow after. Um, as you say, there's probably... Um, by uh, an oasis, hidden water an oasis nearby, yeah, and hidden water holes nearby as well. We should head. I feel like we should head for one of the hidden water holes instead of the known oasis. That's the the, the yeah. oasis will be the first place they'll look for us. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially since the distance is the same to both. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sounds good plan. Perhaps head off. Do we try take to talk away away from this guy? Head off, the soldier. Uh, no, don't take him. His friends will be along soon enough. You win Let's head off to the, I don't know, the, the northwest. At least leave me some and water, circle around. he says, as he notices that you're We've going. We've barely got enough for ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Drink horse blood if, you, if you're thirsty. Very, very generous. Um, very generous. <laughs> if you were trying to just go to the hills, that's no problem at all. If you wanted to find out where this caravan escaped to, you may want to do a little survival test for me. That's for tracking, essentially, through this battlefield, which is quite confused looking. There's lots of tracks. Um, yeah, if, if any of if any of us can track, I, I'm. That's not a skill I learned. It's, it's definitely a skill I have. It would be challenging, a challenging uh, skill check. I can help. Too. You can, I can help you. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we can all uh, search for tracks. So, what does yeah. tracking classify itself as? Survival. Survival. I all right. So, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm your survival help. person. <laughs> <laughs> to help, do we just do? You first, basically, you do a one uh, uh, skill check, but you only roll 1d20. How do I change it to 1d20? Uh, by, at the bottom of your skill roller, there are sort of the, the green dice with a question mark. There's normally two. Mm -hmm. Take one of them away. That should work. 
And it's survival, yeah? Yeah, I'm not, it's not letting me do that. Isn't it? You have to uh, click you the, do first... the first one. You click the first one, I think. And it ah, yeah. There we go. If that you does it. Them away, you click them on and off. All right. It does it. All right. And we roll no, up help. this actual test, yes? First of all, we do the assist, and then we do the actual test. Ooh, I oh, succeeded. Nice. So uh, we got two assists. Um, and then they only count if the, the main roller also rolls a success, at least. Otherwise, they are. And awesome. you say this is a challenging. Challenging. So we need two successes in total. And there's, there's momentum. And I give myself two extra dice from these Ooh, two. Ooh, yeah? very nice. Uh, no, no, no. No. Oh, they're two successes, are they? Yeah. Yeah, they're two successes. And oh, they only okay. count if, you're, if you succeed. That's, that's what you yes. Yep, I understand. They count if you right. succeed. You need at okay, least one you can take, you've passed it. Here we go. And you can take momentum. Is there momentum left? Uh, there should be. I think there is. There is from the last rolls. So let's okay. say there's two, two left. How many left, Frank? Two. Two. Okay. Oh, so I've got four dice. There's a count at the bottom. You might just be able to see it on the stream. As oh, well. Okay, yeah. I've just got my count sheet. Here we go. Oh, there was some mess message up there. I didn't see that. Oh, message. my goodness. <laughs> Five successes. Oh, <laughs> no, you are something I'm down particularly there. good at. He's seven uh, successes. He's slightly <laughs> confused, and he looks down there, and then the other two just say, oh, "Look, look there," and immediately <laughs> says, "All oh, right, yeah, of course. Look, they first hidden where, then there, and then went over there, and yeah, the horse on the front left is missing a horseshoe, and the one on the right is probably a red brown coat." <laughs> and the actual weight of the truck's going to work. How many people are in <laughs> in the wagon? <laughs> And yeah, you calculate the maximum speed and you get uh, five momentum out of this. I'm going to do that manually. Jeez. One, two, three. Wow. Oh, you can only have six maximum, can't you? That's right. Oh, no, I, I oh, we, should, we should have a total of five. Three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, should be five. Yeah, somebody spin. Anyway. So good. Well done. Um, you are pretty sure you know where you, you would have to go. Excellent. Oh, let's go on, Chris. Before we head off, I would like to bind and blindfold the captured soldier so he can't tell his friends where we are going. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. He does not put up a, a lot of resistance. I mean, we can also just, you know, him, but... I don't think he's got <laughs> much chance out here. Blindfold <laughs> and the water. In the desert. But you don't gag him, do you? He can't call for help? Yeah, yeah. You that do? Yeah. Oh, that's me. Yeah, you can do? No, no. Give no, no. him a small chance of survival. <laughs> that's a really small chance of survival now. Yeah. Okay, so you set off. Um, it is now early afternoon. You set off north towards the, the hills, and you're following those tracks. Uh, along the way, you occasionally see some... Leftovers from other fights, or you see some uh, the ruts of the wagon wheel going around there. There's a small water barrel must must have fallen off or something and was unfortunately broken and drained. So you don't find that anymore. You find a few bits and pieces, like some bolts of cloth lying over there, a couple of leather bags. If you want to spend any time in actually um, searching any other corpses you want to come across, you need to tell me. But if you just want to keep moving. I suppose if we, if we see any obvious like water skins that could have liquid in them. Okay, I'll give you two more loot rolls. And then you basically mm -hmm. see what happens. And I'll also, if anybody wants to put up a, a load of arrows, you can definitely do that along the way. Yeah, that would be useful. Spare arrows. Um, so, two more loot rolls, whoever wants to do them. Just a d20. No, no bonus or anything. Go ahead, Derzo. All right. Roll for it. Go for it. It is an eight. Oh, you find more supplies? Find actually a small flask with some strong liquor. That's for eight. <laughs> and a bit of uh, camel jerky. Yeah. I wonder what that tastes like. I've never tried it. <laughs> who, who wants to roll for the other one? Uh, right. Who wants to roll the other one? I'm picking up arrows, uh, there's someone who's doing it. I'll roll for it. No one else will? Go for it. 19. Oh. 19. All right. 
You find in somebody's pocket the etching of a child. It was like a little portrait of a child. Well, it serves. Yeah, it's nothing to us, right? It means nothing. not really helping with the survival. Yeah. This is a Karajan soldier who you just came across. Oh. The fellow soldier, probably a, maybe a sketching of his child. You take it along? Um, or do you leave it? Sure. If okay. it's small enough, yeah. It's a tiny item. Not an issue with weight or encumbrance or anything. Just a small thing. A token. So you go onwards and into the into the sunset sort of thing. Do you want to try and find camp anywhere, or do you basically just say let's strike out and get as far as we can? Well, Septimus, you're the leader, right? I would say get as far. Um, I- but I am not uh, I'm not knowledgeable of uh, travel in the desert. So uh, if it were if it were strictly my call in uh, Dunderland, we would get as far as away from the battlefield as possible. Uh, perhaps perhaps things are done differently here. I think you're right, Septimus. I think we need to get as far away from the battle because if we get in here, we'll find some shelter. Here we're so exposed. Yeah, and especially with the scouts still lurching yeah. around. Let's get as far as we can then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As far as you can. So you keep walking into the dusk and um, it is a bit pitted, this landscape, as you get closer to the foothill. So you need to watch where you're going. But occasionally you still come across um, a couple of dead people here and there. Uh, there's, for example, a courage knight on uh, next to a dead horse peppered with lots of arrows all over mm. You see a couple of the richly clad envoys who were definitely with, a, with Prince Satabus at the time. So he must have come this way. But unfortunately, none of those actually offer you any shelter or any, any sustenance unless you, as I say, want to turn cannibal. Um, at some point, it gets too dark to carry on. So there's a couple of rocks in front of you and you hunker down and you're actually knackered. You had a long, long day. So you probably wrap yourselves into your cloaks and try to huddle against this rock. Are you putting up any any guards? Well, yeah, I, I can uh, do the first watch. But I, I don't think we should uh, be without guards. I agree. Yeah, you I are, yeah. It is quiet. The only thing you hear is some wind whistling around you, which is cool, but it's actually bringing the cold of the night now. Sending chills through you uh, because it gets really, really cold. But the stone that you're resting next to still has a little bit of warmth on it. So one, one guard. I will, yeah, one guard at a time. I think. Yeah. And the first guard is Derzo, and the second one is. I'll, I'll take, take second. second. Are you what? Go for it. I'll take second then. Yeah. Okay. So Derzo, can Victory. you do me? Let's see. What shall we use? Some sort of awareness skill. Um, do you mean observations? Oh, yeah, observations. Yes, observation. Observation. Just, just standard, like average. Yeah. Um, I'm just really bad at that. Actually, I would <laughs> think I would use the momentum for that. Yeah, the momentum is going to drain a little bit anyway. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. So I just have a quick roll here. At least you didn't get a complication. Um, see whether something turns up. I'm going to say anything and uh, or tea, something will come. What have we got? 13. All right. So, um, you are sitting there staring into the night. You're nodding off a little bit occasionally, but then working yourself back awake. But you're really tired as well. And it's so dark, you can hardly see anything. But then all of a sudden, you hear some strange of snuffling sound quite close Nothing. like a some sort of beast is trying to sniff you out or, something. or maybe it's more than one some slight yapping does does it sound like like something on the big ish side like maybe a jackal or something um 
might be it? might be something like hyena sized jackal sized something like that and we don't think uh, they have found you yet but they are definitely within ears I'm, I'm just checking if i have any you've got some survival don't you yeah, I'm really bad as well, but I would we still have momentum. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> try yeah, to get the fire momentum. going if I feel there is like a herd of canines approaching. Uh, at least to, yeah, I would, they would uh, try to get a, a very little fire going that can be uh, extended if the need arises. You to defend. light a fire. Yeah. Right, without actually thinking too long about it. Do me survival check whether you can get a little flame going. Yeah. I'm not going to start thinking maybe I've got a torch or Ooh, Right, so it takes you a little moment and you're starting to make a little bit of noise with it, but then you get a, basically a torch, a flaming brand ready. Yeah. And now and you I, see some I, I, yellow I to keep that. it in a way that, as you said, we are uh, among rocks. Yeah. A bit like what you so see here. Position the fire, the torch, uh, in a way that shelters it from the surrounding views. Yeah, okay, good. It's accessible if we get attacked, but not uh, basically a beacon all over the battlefield. I'm going to be really mean in a second. You do me stealth roll. Oh, <laughs> that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see how, um, how far your torch shines, you know? Okay. A torch in the dark, a light in the dark. Momentum still? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've it. reduced it by once because it really was a new scene. Um, very oh, good, very good. Oh, good. You can put it back on. Um, yeah. Come on back. Right, so you s just see some some glowing, reflecting eyes in the dark, and you hear this yapping, you hear this sort of uh, slight barking between them. There seem to be probably four or five of these beasts. And they, you're holding them off there. Definitely, they don't like the fire, so they're trying to just keep outside of the light. But you reckon that your fire will not last forever. Uh, I will... Uh, the, the torch extended towards the enemies. I will basically uh, walk backwards and kick my companions awake. Wakey, wakey. Going on. We are... You've been asleep for one hour. We're so... Uh, group of beasts around surrounding You've us. You've been sleeping for four hours, actually. You've a half oh, night's okay. sleep. You must have been close to the changeover for the watch. Grab my bow. Yeah. Well, well, this could be food, if anything, uh, as well. Stand up. Stand up, grab the axe. It's still very dark. Well, it's going to make it harder for combat, isn't it? Yes, it is. Where do, can we see them with the? We can see. You said we can see glowing eyes. You can occasionally glimpse them. It's not like you can really see them, but you can occasionally glimpse them when one comes a bit closer and you get a moment. You want to tr start peppering them with arrows. Yeah, I'm used to hunting picks down, and they never have lights. So if there's a target, I'm going to try to take one. Okay, you don't have to roll for this. Basically, as you're now all awake, you're quite a formidable enemy for these guys. Yeah, so you you get a couple with your arrows, and then the others run off. But your knight's rest has thoroughly been destroyed, disturbed. And if you now want some some uh, hyena meat, you actually have a couple of portions of the hyena meat. But you don't have a lot of fire left, and soon the light goes out. So do you try to go back to sleep, or do you now all stay awake? I think we need to sleep a bit yeah. more. We're going to be exhausted, aren't we? Uh, I'll, I'll take watch for a while. First, of you can try and get some sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, do me an observation as well, and then we'll hopefully move it on. All righty, here we go. Roll the dice, and I don't need to oh, roll. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So at some point, you hear some of these noises again, but you immediately send an arrow in that direction. You could put arrows on. Or a slingstone, but sling yeah. Stone. Slingstone <laughs> in that direction. You hear yelp, and then they, they disappear again. They did not surprise you. So the sun starts coming up. You're still 
frozen through from that cold, cold night. But as the light comes over the uh, hills in the east, you can now see that you're actually relatively close to those gullies. Moving into. And because you were so de dead on track with your tracking earlier, you basically come between some of those wagon trails. Mm. You pick up the trail really easily. Okay, good. Oh, as soon as the sun comes up, as soon as we can see, we should get moving. Yeah. Quick check, guys, because we haven't really played together. So I don't know how you normally run this. We've played uh, for an hour and a bit now. Do you want a short drinks break? Or do you just want to carry on? Uh, up to everyone. I'm okay. I'm fine. Either way. So nobody's okay. in need of any particular break? Nope. No, my, my aim is that we do these sessions. They're not, not going to be four-hour sessions. So, oh, um, how long? How long did you uh, plan for them to be? Well, my aim was not to go past half past nine my my time. Okay. So that would be another just under an hour. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that's good. Does that fit? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Good. If we start next time slightly earlier, then we would also finish earlier. That's because it's a school night for me. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. is. Yeah, I know. And I have to get up really early. So it's like 5.40 getting up. Anyway. Good. You come into the mountains, into the hills. And we pick it up from there. Let me just find my notes. Oh. Um, you follow the track further. You see now that the, it's a bit harder to find here because of rockier ground. But, yeah, you know exactly what this thing is. Um, and after walking a few couple of miles in the morning of the day, you hear down this gully that you're currently working, and you hear some shouting. You hear a woman's angry shout echoing across the landscape. What language is she speaking in? You can't oh, make like that, that out from the distance. It really was like okay, um, a shout okay. rather than a shouted um, big explanation <laughs> of you are so nasty to me or something. It was more like an oi. We should rush forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to be as quiet as we can, I guess. Just in case we need to surprise someone. Do you want to approach stealthily, quickly, or both? I think the priority, priority should both. be speed, but you know, as stealthy as possible. Mm. <laughs> stealthy as we can be. <laughs> Printing as stealthily as possible. Yeah. I suppose we're not in heavy armor, are we? So we probably don't make too much noise. Overall. Now, did you put on the other armor? Are you looking like Shemite warriors now? Oh. I think we just put on their, uh, their coats. The the yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah, the robes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move you to another map. Hopefully you can see stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, as I said, I, I don't do a lot with, um, oh. with, with line of sights or fog of war here. I just don't think it's necessary. Mm -hmm. I just need to populate this a little bit. And then we can go. Now, what you come into is this gully, and you can see that ahead of you there's a sort of litter. I put a wagon here yeah, um, yeah. on the ground, spilled over. There are people standing around it. There's somebody holding a, a woman by the arm who looks more mm -hmm. like a knight, like a proper knight, actually. Uh, what was he called again? Him. Uh, and he's got a few troops around him. And they're basically going through this, but the knight is holding this woman. Um, uh, okay. You say he's, got, he's, got a knife, he's got a knife in his hand, you say, yeah? Not a knife. He's holding her by the arm. It doesn't have okay. a knife. But he basically seems to be interrogating or questioning or whatever, something like that. You're not quite sure, but he's basically talking to her. Um, are we able to tell if these are... Uh... What kind of soldiers they are? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you that in a minute. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what you see is a veiled woman struggling in the clutches of a Corajan soldier. Yeah, so he would have been on your side, really. One of the men at arms that accompanied the envoys along with the knights. You know, smattering of other mercenaries, men from a handful of na nationalities, a bit like you, 
are working th um, through the loose chests and casks that are um, basically left and right of this litter and the wagon. And they seem to be paying relatively little attention to the soldier and the handmaiden because they are much more interested in the wealth that is still there. Not so much, but you get a big smell of very pleasant flowery stuff, so you reckon that some perfume was probably spilled as well. So you, they are currently busy and haven't seen you yet as you enter the scene from the side. If you want to move stealthily from now, it's a stealth check, which is an opposed um, check. You could also see whether you wanted to climb the sides of the gullies, of the gully, and um, basically approach differently. If you zoom out a bit, you hopefully see enough of the scene. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I'm going to. Well, they are Karaj and soldiers, right? The main right. guy is Karaj, and the mercenaries are actually a bit hard to see. Because the mercenaries, we need to do. So, see. I'm going to suggest uh, Chris, yeah. um, you know, a motion for Chris to go into, you know, take take cover on the side. Yeah. Uh, Motaz, uh, let's, you and me, let's go up and uh, talk to them. Check and talk to them. Um, Durzo, yeah, you should come with us. Yeah. If anything happens, yeah, I'll get star yeah. shooting and take them down. Exactly. So, I, so I'll use my stealth and my living in shadow talent that makes me quite hidden and move to a nice position where I, I can watch over them with, with my bow ready. Maybe in the shadows over here or something. Okay, do me a stealth then. But that's why I sometimes like these maps because you can say, "Oh, look, there's shadows there. Oh, look, there's something to hide." I like that. I was thinking you were going to climb up here and like uh, climb take in the high ground. Little bit. Climb. Okay, that's going to be if you especially that depends. If you want to climb back that's here. That's up to Krios, Yeah. Then we're going to do a climbing more, this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of just getting close enough, hiding in the shadows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you want a stealth roll? Stealth roll, please. And against okay. their observation. And we have momentum. Do we have any momentum left? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to take one off again. Okay. So scene. I'll use one momentum to give me an extra dice in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And save some for the others because they may need it. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Momentum. Oh, complication. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, went to my third dice. Hmm, I only rolled two dice for some reason. Uh, you could just roll a RD20 and then we can check if it succeeds or not. Yeah, I don't know how you entered that. Yeah. It's used two momentum. momentum. Oh, you put a bonus die down at momentum. Mm. 14. Ah, uh, it does not. No. Uh, so one su two successes now because yeah. of the focus and the complication. Now you get into the position so you can move yourself over where you want it to be. Um, you're not, you don't think that they've seen you, but you, um, how do I best do this? Yeah, it's somehow, always so hard to come up with complications for stealth tests. <laughs> it is. Somehow, um, they may not have seen you, but they definitely saw something move over because they say, oh, did you see that? And they're having a conversation with these these guards. Okay. So they are now alert, but they haven't seen you. Okay. Oh, good. They saw us. Not Just yet. by the way, I think you can uh, kind of interchange between two doom and complications. Yeah, so if you I can't can. think of complications. I can buy off complications with two doom. Mm -hmm. I haven't done anything with the eight doom yet, so. Um, Might have to so buy some more minions. I'm going to, um, as we approach, I'm going to uh, call out in uh, Aquilonian. Uh, uh, Sword Brothers, uh, we have, uh, we managed to, uh, we managed to escape the battle. Uh, how fair are you? Okay. If uh, you do that, I just wanted to find out what the other two are doing because I wanted to position themselves as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll just follow up and translate the message secondhand. So I'll let him, sp I'll let Septimus speak and then I'll speak as second in garage in case Aquiloni. Okay, yeah, uh, if I see anyone that I think is uh, Stygian, 
then I would uh, repeat the message in Stygian. Otherwise, I will just accompany them. You reckon that that lady um, he's holding, you can't see her face because she's got a veil on, but her dress seems to be Stygian. Okay. Uh, that's the name of it. Uh, did we as soldiers uh, see the princess? You saw her at some point. But this yeah. um, is not noble clothes, if that makes sense. It's more like a noble handmaid than the princess. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I, seeing that she she's grabbed by this uh, captain. He's basically like, hanging onto her arm. And, no. Okay, in, in this really case, I would uh, call out to her in Stygian if she uh, is under duress, if she needs help. All right. So these guys are all <laughs> lining up left and right of their boss. And he shouts across. Um, what do you want? Creos. And this the lady basically stops whimpering, stops shouting, and looks at uh, Derzo. But it looks like she's not really saying anything. She's trying to mutter something, but immediately the guy roughly pulls her on the arm and says, You be quiet, wench. So it's Krios. Oh he, he, sorry, he... He talks to me. Yeah, because you you were shouting at them. It's what, it's no, no, it that was me. Oh, sorry. I'm hiding. Septimus. Yes, is the one hiding. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Oh, sorry, I'm not Akrios. <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> I need to get you a bit closer now so I can zoom in a bit more. Um. So I will. Uh, I say uh, I'm. They're former uh, soldiers of ours. Uh, they're former companions of ours. So I'm going to just say. Um, we are, we managed to escape the battle, same as you, and we are, uh, uh, we're looking for the commander. Well, that'll be me. Name is Excellent. Asunder. Come again, what was the name? Asunder. Asunder. Who would you be? Uh, I am Septimus. I was a, uh, com I was a commander of a small troop. So Unfortunately... I was only able to gather these two uh, soldiers. Well, well, soldier and this learned man, the clerk. The scribe looks you up and down. Well, we were fleeing these these desert warriors. These are sorry, they were basically looting everything they could, but we got away with it. I think. Did they follow you? I don't think so. The other two, have you actually still got the uh, Shemite sort of cloaks on or not? Uh, we do, yes. I think. We do have the Shemite cloaks on, yeah. But we... You're taking it off? <laughs> He's I'm yeah. good. <laughs> Why do you dress like a Shemite then? We did. The, we dressed this way to uh, evade any, patrol, any uh, Shemite patrols that we came across. Not a bad idea. Well, they went down south. I think we are safe here. You want the woman is not part of your company? I ask if the woman is, yeah. Well, they don't, yeah. We just found her here. She's coming with me. She's now part of my company. Uh, at that moment, she sort of struggles a bit. And he laughs. Anyway, we are trying to make our way back to one of the other city states. And maybe we can get in with some of this loot here, bribe our way in. So you're not going up. Like, that's the thing. Do I understand them? Yeah, let's assume that. He speaks. Yeah, okay. So let's uh, yeah, it a bit. just so translate. I will ask him if they are not going to rescue the princess. The princess? She'll be long gone and they are sure we were hunting her, so I'm sure they'll be caught. And then the, this other lady basically snarls at him something in Stygian. You traitor, you faithless dog, understands Durzo. Okay, so I understood, yeah. Mm -hmm. Durzo as well? Yeah, you as well, Stigian. Yeah. And um, struggles a bit more, and her, her veil slips free. Yes. And you look at her, and you think, that's dusky, skinned, black beauty, black haired beauty that you've seen with that regal bearing. That is Neferit. Right. Oh, she, I was she, she, she's yeah. uh, pulling a, a Padme. Sorry? 
like uh, the Padme from Star Wars. The yeah, handmade. a bit Padme. like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Padme. Padme. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. That, that film, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, I whisper over, since I heard uh, her call them traitorous, I whisper to Septimus to be ready yeah. to give the signal to Krios. Right. As Asanda turns around, looking at her unveiled face, now it basically seems to freeze for a moment. Uh, taken aback by this, but he doesn't does not release her arm at all. Mm-hmm. He seems astonished and then says to his mates, "Oh, look at that! I thought we were just having some fun, and now we can get a princely ransom. Excellent, good news." And h- how many of them are there? Are those again uh, groups of two? No, three. Three, so, three. So six of them and the leader. Unless they spend some doom and say there's some more hiding in there. Which there could be. Which there could be. I'm sure there's some around the corner. Which there will be with a doom. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, excellent. Then we can head back to, uh, we can head back to Karadra. Um, and do you have supplies? We're low. We don't have a lot. And we're not going to share. Just like we're not going to share the ransom for this one. And he laughs. Oh, this is going to be good. Is he easy to type to shoot without whisking her? Um, if you don't roll a complication, <laughs> you think you, you have a good chance of, of hitting her. But it's not an easy shot. So as I said, if there's a, a complication, there's a chance that you're going to hit her. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm ready for the signal. Kind of... Because I probably don't understand what they're saying. Yeah. So, a sender, uh are you telling me that you are planning on taking the lady Nef- do i recognize that it's Neferat? yeah are you telling me that. asander that you are going to take the lady Neferat back to karaja for ransom not to karaja one of the other states she's a stygian princess she is the bride of prince sabatus that is... Well, I think the time of Prince Sabatus is long gone. Look at how our and, army was slaughtered here. I don't think there's a right. comeback from that. I'm going to tell him that we have just joined forces with the Ophirian army, which is a lie. Maybe convince him not to do that. With the Ophirian army? Yeah. The, the, which I don't the think the is a The Ashurians? Yes, uh, the Ashurians. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, the Ashurian attacked them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't there a place called Ophir? Yeah, there is. Uh, Ophir. 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 Ah, I'm sorry. Ophir. Yeah. There's definitely. Okay, you can try that, but it's going to be quite a hard lie to sell him on. Um, So if you do me a personality, what is it? Persuade? Yeah. If you lie outright, is it persuade? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I think so. And I'm going to ask... Yeah, persuade. I'm going to ask for three successes. All right. We have momentum, right? We uh, do. I'll spend... And even then, you might just hesitate rather than outright believe you. I'll spend one and give you one doom. How about that? We'll save a, we'll save a momentum. We yeah, have? Okay. Oh, man! Oh, oh, complications. Yes. That is unfortunate. <laughs> And you didn't get what you needed, which was no. average uh, three. Oh. Yeah, you can actually set the difficulty at the top of the dice roller. Uh, so it's not actually oh, a success; yeah. it just says success. Yeah, um, I forgot. Right for a moment, he just looks at you and says, "The Ophirian army. What would they be doing here? Nah, why are you trying to lie to us?" Mm. And then he says, "Guys, get your weapons out." Okay, I had that line point. up. They line up with the if they start drawing their weapons, I'm going to shoot. Uh, because I've been sitting there observing and I'm um, focused on this Sander guy, can I use the exploit uh, combat action? I think you can. Um, do you I'm have... going to make an observation check, I do. You have. You don't have um, thingy, do you? Marksman. No, I don't. I have accurate. accurate. No, accurate is a re-roll, right? Accurate yeah. is a re-roll, yeah. Yeah, because marksman is if you prepare a shot, you get an extra attack die and an extra yeah. damage die. Um, yeah. But the exploit is pretty much the same, isn't it? Exploit means I get uh, the the hit gets a piercing two quality. 
All right. Good. And then you can spend momentum for more damage and, and dice. dice. Yeah. yeah. And dice. So and dice. um we are going to say that is medium range. Okay. Um yeah, so whatever weapon you're using, you've got two bows now, don't you? Yeah, so I'll be using the new bow mm -hmm. because it's a more powerful. Uh, so first of all, I need to do my observation check just to see if I, the exploit mm -hmm. works. Okay, you are... that may that may generate quite a lot of momentum. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and it's a it's a average D one test, so that's fine. So D one. Oh, well, yeah, that one is. Observation. The other one might be one harder because the optimal range for that bow is actually long. Okay, well, not, not so good. Medium. So the observation one worked. Yeah. So that gives me piercing two quality. So therefore, mm -hmm. it'll get through armor if he wears any. Oh yeah, he wears full armor. Yeah. Okay. And have we got momentum left? Uh, uh oh, yeah, no, one. That's right. Uh, one left. Okay. Oh, yeah. And let me use the one momentum because normally I will generate momentum for all you lot. That's normally with my. I'm good. <laughs> Do I, I don't shooting. think anybody minds you using that. It's just you have to uh, select difficulty two now because it's not the optimal range. That's fine. For the attack. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Three. So, and you you went for the captain, I assume, there. yeah? Yeah, I went for the captain. So, so let me roll damage. No, he doesn't have a shield up. Because he's holding onto the lady, so he can't actually parry you or touch her. Okay. Oh, hey, and no complications either. Not this no, time. Not, that. <laughs> not this time. Hey, so. Whatever happened to those? Uh, what happened? Just they don't believe us. They don't believe us and talk, said, get your weapons out. So, mm -hmm. seven damage. Um, are you I, hitting him I, I can leave on one of them, can't I? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, guessing two, you said. Oh, so yeah. Four's a two, isn't it? No, four's uh, nothing. Four's nothing. Four's nothing. Oh, four's nothing. Yeah, you are here. Yeah. But if you want to reroll next time, just click on the dice um, in like one of the empty dice, basically, and then you get a reroll. No, oh, I don't, don't get a reroll option for some reason. Right click. It shows oh. up at the top. It yeah. kind of looks yeah. it's in yeah, a weird way. It doesn't actually right. for me, but if you yeah. right click, then you get reroll selected. Yeah. As well. I saw, I see that now. Okay. So that's seven damage. Uh, Piercing two, uh -huh. uh, and there's. I'll give the momentum to the others. Okay, so seven damage, piercing two means six damage get through. That's a wound for him. Yes. Uh, didn't you say you have piercing two because of your observation test? Yeah, and pierce, piercing two because the observation. Yeah, so it, two armor is avoided. Yeah, two armor reduced. Yeah, he started off with three. Two of them I ignored. Ah, okay, yeah. One gets through. Oh, well. One wound gets through in a bit. Yeah. Oh, you sink your armor into a... Oh, sorry, your arrow into an unarmored spot. Or lightly armored spot, I should say. And he just grunts. And um, where did you hit him? Right leg. With that, he actually lets um, go of the, the woman who sort of throws herself to the side and out of shot for the next time. Because I know you're going to try that again. Okay. Okay, we are now on full initiative. So, you know how it works. Um, oh, I might actually seize the initiative, though. I think I'm going to do that. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to do that a couple of times, uh, for one of the mobs, anyway. So, these garage soldiers are running forward, and they're looking at um, the people they could attack. And I'm going to roll a die rather than pick somebody. So, on a, a counting from the top in twos. So, 1d6. One! They're going to go for Durzo. So, they're running over this group of soldiers and attacking Durzo. My really? first mob attack. The others didn't really get to attack, did they? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what are they going to use? They're going to use this beer. Okay. Uh, I have my spear out as well, so, so <laughs> I think. So reach should be the same. That's why I want to keep it simple. Yeah. Um. Right. Attack. And I will take the parry thing then. Okay. There's only one die. It should be five die. Uh, it, 
Yeah, it should be. If there's five of them, it should be five dice. Okay, but they rolled three. Oh, it's three of them. It's three of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Three that's fine. So two successes. More. Okay, so um, how does the parry... I just roll a normal parry test? Now, a parry means that's a reaction to fight, yeah. um, which means you have to pay me doom first, so... I will yeah, spend unless you have a talent where I do momentum you can use, can you know? No, not on the rules. Okay. No, it's unless gotta be has like deflection or a yeah, weapon that I helps. I also have the, the deflection talent where I basically reduce uh, That's the right. cost. In that case, doing. you can do that, and I'm going to take the Doom off again. Um, yeah. And then uh -huh. you roll a um, weapon test for the weapon you're parrying with. It's a parrying it? test. A parrying test, okay. Yeah, because is, uh, it's own skill, so I thought. Yeah, yeah sense, it's a coordination yeah. skill, Perry. You've got. Yeah, okay. So, but, uh, D1 difficulty? You wrong, mm. we compare the successes, I believe. Yeah. So, you one success. Okay, two. Yeah. One success to get through, right? Yeah. Looking at my yeah, that's right. here. Do, so. No, that's right. Okay. That's right. So, they, managed, they still managed to hit you. And the damage. Off the spear is. Da -da -da, what did it say? Down to the bone as well, isn't it? Individual. Spears. Oh. Spears. Oh, it's five. Able to carry one of them, but the other one hits. On their character sheet, it's five. Don't ask me why. Uh, probably brawn. Because they add the uh, brawn modifier to Must it. Be. Yeah. So it's three physical. And one piercing. On your left arm with one piercing. Um, Have you got arm on your left arm? Uh, oh, yeah, two. So I take two two damage. You Oops. roll a damage a dice for the armor, don't you? No, it's flat. I'm pretty sure. Armor suck is flat. No, cover Shields. cover is. Uh, no, I can sacrifice the oh, armor yeah, to uh, avoid the wound. I think flat. you can, but if, this is not a wound. It's not a wound. Don't worry. No, about no. It. It's so just your uh, armor would be usually two. Uh, they have got piercing though, so one armor. Um, is yeah, so pierced. I take two damage. Two come through, and that's just two of your vigor. It's not oh. a big wound. I wouldn't do anything special with that. If you get yeah. five in one go, that's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah. That is a problem. Oh. All right. So, all right. This will only get quicker with the fights, I'm sure. Once we actually <laughs> know, or once I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I might do that again, and by the initiative again, with the other group. And they're going to run for what? Who are they going to attack? 1d4 for the other two. One! Okay, they're brave and they're going to go for Septimus. <laughs> the fools. The fools, indeed. So they're going to spear you. Or try at least. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did the 20 count for anything? Yes, they have one success, but they have a complication. All right, one of I'm going to spear. You. I'm going to defend with shield. Yeah. Have you got anything like deflect? I've got deflection and a shield. Okay, so it's free for you to do. Yeah. Uh, no doom. Right. I'm looking no in the doom. wrong place as I learn how to do parry. And I'm going to roll. Okay. <laughs> oh. I got one six. Uh, I'm trying Once to remember it, now. I think it's the, player wins. It doesn't go I think through. it's player wins too, but it's a complication. So It's a complication. Yeah. So what happens is one of them rams the spear forward and lodges it in your shield. So the shield is really, really difficult to maneuver now. All right. Yeah. Uh, just, so just really quick, I think uh, you can spend Doom to uh, make your attack succeed on a draw. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Like, sorry. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. That makes it more no, interesting. No, no, no. It's, it's doomed to spend. I think it's going to get, uh, you yeah, still it's gonna fine. get some damage because there's three I'm, of them I'm, attacking you. And yeah. One yeah. of them drops his, his spear <laughs> because he's right, going to, going <laughs> to block it. it in. I'm going to drop my shield. And let's have it some damage then. Now they've made me angry. Or physical. Do I get to, to use the shield this time first? Um, oh, piercing three. You can use the shield this time if you want to. All right, I'm going to do that. So you get the cover soap. Yeah, that's what I'm going to roll. Or shield uh, soap. 
Oh, hey, that works. Sing three is not bad, is it? So they, I get, so it's just one soak, so I take three damage. Uh, right arm, armor? Armor, yeah. Yeah, I have armor, I'm trying to remember. Doesn't the uh, shield have shield two? So you should get two soak? You need two soak. Uh, no, um, you get two dice. Two dice. You, yeah. To, yeah. So I get a total of three. Okay. No, I still take the four, full four, full four damage. Okay, that hurts. Yeah. Uh, that's, not a wound. Wound. that's a bit tricky in this game because actually modifiers don't make it easy i think because they they call things like harm they've got a word for harm and then they've got wounds and they've got stress and they've got this and trauma and they inventing lots of different words and then they've got this variable cover or yep. variable soak and then the fixed soak and the same they've got on the courage side so all of that makes it a bit awkward but i think once you've got it it's fine how do you indicate damage um, uh, you just reduce your vigor. Reduce your vigor by four. Yeah. And if you left click on the vigor, it goes down. The right click goes down. Left click goes up. Make sure you do the left side of the vigor as well. Yeah, the other yeah. one. Not the max. Mm. Yeah. And the wounds you can oh, see underneath six. it. You have six. If you have the six, wounds underneath it, if you click it once, it's an active wound. If you click it again, uh, if you right click, it becomes a treated wound. And if you right click it again, it's a healed wound. Ooh. All right. Okay, so now it's your turn. Uh, Asunder is probably seeking some cover so he can't be shot again. Uh, Commanding, he's shouting, like the shouting for some other people. Okay. So, over to you now. Urza, you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Uh, you go first this time. All, All right. right. Um, I'm going to, uh, the shield's got a great big spear in it, so I'm dropping the shield. Mm hmm. And I'm going to uh, spear this person in front of me. We're just church? having spear versus spear today, so we don't have spear to versus spear. <laughs> yep. That way we don't have to worry about reach. Uh, how much do, do we have momentum? Yeah, I'm yep. going to take momentum. Mm -hmm. Most kept. Typically. I'm going to take two momentum. I'm going to stab the heck out of this guy. These guys. Um, a little bit, yeah. Okay, three successes. Them, they're minions, so there's no parry or anything. And I'm going to do damage. You want to spend the momentum that you just gained back? Um, no, not yet. I'm going to roll the dice first. Hmm. All right, so that's four damage. I'm going to use my talent. I'm going to use one of the momentum actually to uh, roll all of them. Yeah, good. Re -roll, plus the talent to because it won't let me do. Yeah, it's okay. fine. They won't do, let you do twice, so you have to do it together. So now I'm doing six damage with uh, two piercing. That's a bit better. Mm -hmm. Almost done. Yep. And I'll leave the extra momentum in the. Did it automatically bank it? I, I banked it first. Okay, thank you. So. There we go. Six six physical, two piercing. Okay, six one of them goes down. The other one is slightly injured. Okay, good. Well done. That was a good attack. Next. Um, I'll threaten the same group. Uh, the group that Septimus just attacked. Yeah. Nice. And I'll use accent. I just realized that I have this. Um, to use linguistics instead of in place of persuasion. For my attack. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Are you doing an intimidation attack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which um, one? Let me see. Staley Glare. Yeah, Staley yeah, Glare. Put that on your yeah, Staley you Glare is the classic one, isn't it? I can put it across <laughs> if you give me a moment. There you go. It's on your sheet now. Yeah. But you will have to more edit if you want to use a different thing. Oh, oh look, look, at look at that. that. Oh, nice. Very nice. So you're intimidating them, steely glare. Yeah. No, they have no courage soak. They have they're cowards. I think. Let me check. Oh, they have one actually. One cover. Oh. Five mental damage. And I'll use uh, four. And a stun. Stun as well. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, stun makes so them stagger. One of them, basically, uh, you've reduced him to zero resolve, so it's not just gonna Stunned, the rabbi stunned, he's going to be basically so intimidated and cowed that he won't attack you. 
Good, so you nope. basically did the same another one. Nice. <laughs> Very well done, just with the uh, shouting steely You rarely see steely gale used, it's good to see it used. You use your linguistics to come up with really inventive uh, insults <laughs> and put yeah, down. Right. <laughs> Excellent. But well, one of them was just killed, so hey, threaten. Yeah. The yeah. rest of you will be as well. Mm, you are next. The cow is in front of you. Okay, that leaves us with. Bezo? Bezo. Bezo before me? Otherwise, I would just uh, attack the group, group before me. Straight in front of you. Yeah, the other one is down to one, but I haven't actually done yet. Um, normally configure them so you can see on a little bar how many mobs there are. But the one I'm currently targeting, not sure whether you can see that. This one. Only one person left and there are three in front of you. Yeah, I, I will attack the group in front of me. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, we have momentum to spend. I will use one. Mm, is it enough? Yeah. Oh gosh, you must be quite good at that. Yeah, I, I put basically everything in melee. Whoa! Target number 17, <laughs> look at that. Target yeah. 17, focus five. I noticed that. You had a lot of focus fires when I looked through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Oh, the... Yeah. Klagor. We've got five people raiding from Klagor over here. So, welcome. Good evening. We're playing. Ooh. You know what we're playing. You've played it before. Uh, Reroll re them all. Reroll all of them. Reroll all of them. Yeah. That right. costs one momentum. Yeah. That's momentum. Yeah. One momentum. You got a right. bunch. So. <laughs> oh. Yeah. See nine yeah. damage. Nine damage. Uh, piercing two. Two piercing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <Right. laughs> nine damage. It is definitely one of them is gone. The other one is almost gone. Wait. Did you have a thing to reroll? Uh. Mercy, no mercy or no? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Okay, well, so you roll again. Up. Yeah, but it only lets no, you, you say one moment. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. It's all right. It would have been. But no, you have only momentum. You can add, I think, one damage. You could. You can add a damage. Yeah, because yeah, you Which would kill another one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In this case, let's do it. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Spend the last momentum on that, and then I'm going to take another one off here. Got it. Yep. Um, <laughs> right. Rios. Oh, so at the moment, there's only two. I think I will use my fast action to m rush forward out of to here behind this, this object and see if he's around to shoot. Okay. Is he standing there or is he somewhere further away? He is standing where he's standing, so you can. That's very, very short, and with that bow, you would have a disadvantage, definitely. You had two range bands out. Yeah. Um, but you can try. Or you can shout at him and give him a steely glare. No, I don't think I'm so good with that. I'm going to try and shoot him. So you say it's going to be a difficulty three. There's no momentum. No. Yeah, but you can use Doom. I'll give you a doom to give me an extra dice. So let's do that there. He's already got an arrow in his right leg. Or fortune. He's I don't know how he's trying to pull out. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, you could waste him with a fortune. <laughs> yeah, you could. Oh, my gosh. Success or failure. Complication. You have the successes still... you need. Yeah. Um, so you're going to hit him. Yeah. But I might actually. Hmm. What, am I, what are we going to do with the You could get rid of the reload. Uh, the... Uh, mm -hmm. Volley of arrows. Or, wait, no, that's if you spend it. You no, don't spend you still it. use it as a complication. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's all. You're out of arrows. Right. Yeah, I'm going to take one of the reloads off you. Okay. But before we do anything else, roll your damage. Oh, um, This poor chap. He's already got a wound. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you, could roll that, huh? <laughs> you know, that would bounce off his armor. Yeah. Um because you don't have any oh. effects. No, no effects. Oh no, no effects with no momentum. Oh. I can re roll one though, can't I? Yeah, yeah but I think yeah. Is yeah. it not with no mercy? No, I, I've got uh accuracy. You've got a, a range one of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we want the effect. Oh you do? Okay, what one is that? I wouldn't have yeah, chosen that one. Oh, 
Oh, okay. there we go. There now we go. you have a piercing. piercing. Um, yeah. So four damage, one piercing. Yep. Yeah. You hit him on the head. It dongs his helmet, and there's a slight gash in it. But you don't think you you really killed him? No, wasn't quite as good as I hoped. Shouting. Stop that! Stop fighting everybody! He shouts out. And his surrender now, are you? His people definitely uh, are not very, very keen to carry on fighting, seeing as their colleagues have just been slaughtered. So they hesitate for a moment. The question is, what do you guys do? Um, Drop your weapons. Hey, shout out then to drop their weapons. We only kill, have we killed, we've only killed two, right? We've all uh, killed three. Three. Three, and I threatened one, one to stop fighting. Yeah. 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 Oh, we've killed three and we threatened one. Yeah. yeah. No, we killed we, four, didn't we? Yeah, you killed four. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, three well, and one is not killed. Three and one, one stopped. Yeah. Stopped. yeah. One's not fighting. Uh, because we can do a. No, but one per. I think I was thinking we could do a. Stain the soil red. Mm, that's if one person three, has three, three kills. Three yeah, kills. one person needs three kills. Yeah. Right. But yeah, if you say drop your weapons, they're actually going to drop their weapons. Because he has order in his surrender. Yeah. And they're going to, you're going to basically round them up, round the wagon. Drop your weapons. And the woman runs towards um, Mortas. Oh, thank you. High time that somebody came who's a bit more honorable than these scoundrels. Oh, <laughs> she's a Stygian princess, right? She's a Stygian, and she was speaking Stygian to you. Okay. So, All right. Go ahead. Keep an eye on them. They're, they're traitors. Yeah, uh, I will as well that over yeah let's tie them up tie them up yeah tie them up make sure they can't get away unless you all gather around them let me zoom in a bit you have a little look at your tokens now you're big enough there we go um oh thank you for your efforts um it will not be in vain you helped me but really i'm looking for people to help me rescue uh Satabus. And my, my darling sister, Amunet. Do you know where they are? Well, they carried on further down here. Yeah, there was a, a group of Ashuri who caught up with us and who started plundering us. But then this guy, and she points at Asunder, proposed that they could have me. Felix, uh, if they left me in peace, basically, they then they wouldn't fight them. But in all our confusion, my sister and, and Satabas uh, rode away. So they ran, uh, rode away their scuddy, and soon after the Ashuri followed and left me with this traitor. Oh, I think we need to get oh, after them quickly. Really well. Yeah. I was going to talk to um, Asander. So. My understanding correctly that he was a Karajan soldier or commander. He was a Karajan soldier. He was supposed to help guard this convoy here. Okay. Um, so I'm I'm gonna just I don't know if you can understand me, but I'm going to just berate him for faithlessness and um you know, he understands you. He understands. Oh, he does. Okay. Well, good. Then I'm gonna. I'm berating him for faithlessness. Just because you were defeated on the battlefield today does not mean you were like. You're the battle. The war is over. You you still have a charge to. You still have a duty to keep to your um to your um to your uh, commander here and turning turning on um turning on your. Uh, ruler like this is this, this sign of a true coward yeah, where is your honor he seems yeah, to where be is your honor? good <laughs> he says i am sorry i thought that was a lost cause it's never a lost cause until you decide it is there's always a chance 
Well, if I can be any help to you to regain my honor, then I will do so. Mm. I have no faith whatsoever. See that you do. <laughs> I well, can't trust you after what you've done. Could these eyes lie? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they would. <laughs> All right. Is it, are there horses with this wagon? Um, no, unfortunately, none that are fit and healthy. There's one that is lying on its side panting, but basically seems to have a broken leg. And a couple of dead ones. Check for any supplies that we'll need. That's supplies. the most important thing, is supplies. Yes. Okay, so you want to risk the thing. And I thought you were having a conversation with the princess first. Um, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll ask uh, the princess if she knows uh, which direction yeah, the prince might have gone. Yes, uh, they, they ran down this gully. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you can follow them. I mean, there's not so much, you, you can't really go left and right here. So just continuing on direction. But, but okay. I assure you we're behind them. There's six of them, and they were on horseback. And they attacked you guys? Well, yeah, essentially. Okay. They were trying to, but then, yeah, because of this traitor here, there was a short distraction, and Satabus and uh, Amunet managed to get away. And I relay this info to the group, Nagolonian. She can speak Akilonian as well, if you Oh, okay. She's just happy to have somebody to speak Stygian to. There was an extra name in it, did you notice? Hint, hint. Mm-hmm. Okay. What was the name again? Uh, uh, Amunet. Thank you. Yeah, the, the sister. Wait, sister. wasn't that... Yeah. And this is we the... previously know of that sister? Or is this news to us? You didn't know that she had a sister. Okay, so basically there are now two, uh, two princesses and we only knew of one. You only knew of right. one. And Satabus, yeah. as far as you know, is engaged to this one here, Neferit. One prince, two princesses. Mm. They're not the same family. So they're yes, groomed the to be flat the with the sister. The sister's eye. Well, yes, well, you know, I thought if we swapped our clothes, then my sister, yeah, they, she would be chased, but I would just be ransomed. Because if they found her here, she might have been killed. Uh, can somebody who is really good at this sort of stuff... Yeah, she's speaking Akilonian, so it doesn't have to be necessarily more at us. Do you mean inside sheet? Uh, check, not sheet. Suspect she's someone... I just clicked on sheet while I was saying inside. So who's good at inside? Good at who wants to do it? Who's good at what inside? Inside. Which is all around awareness, isn't it? Yeah. Not bad. In, yeah. Not bad. I need to roll for her as well. You want me to roll then? Oh, no, you you can roll with Doom as well, or Fortune. Um, uh, yeah, we haven't spent any Fortune yet, and we are just about to finish this session. So you can spend some Fortune if you like. Go for it, Chris. Yeah, okay. I'll spend one Fortune. You've uh, already got more successes than her. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think we, you don't have to roll then. That's an option. Yeah. Fortune is an option. Yeah. There's always a chance of more momentum may need. Oh, wow. oh, of complications. So that's. Yeah. Oh, that's three successes then on your. Uh, wow, that's good. So very good. You, you reckon there's something she doesn't tell you hmm. about the relationship uh -huh. uh, that are going on here? The relationships. Yeah. Are you really her sister? Looks at you, sort of affronted, and says, "Of course, she's my twin sister." Really? Hmm. Yes, really. And that bit, you believe her? Does she speak with like a, a uh, an element of sort of you know well spoken, like a princess would speak? Very much. I'm so. thinking she's like just a she's just an assistant. No, she's got all the hoity-toity, and she's got all this sort of beautiful, uh, eloquent, strange pronunciation, even in Aquilonian. She's got the bearing, the royal bearing of a princess. And you actually have sort of seen her before when, when you were um, going out with a, with a convoy, with a, with a trail of the army, train of the army. But we only ever saw one before. 
You only ever saw one, and her handmaiden always was veiled. So we, why have Great. we never seen your sister before? Well, she was disguised, wasn't she? The handmaiden was veiled, yeah. So it's disguised like as your male handmaiden. Hmm. And then we swapped. Yeah, there's something you're not telling us. Come on, you need to be honest with us. We've just saved your life. Come on. What I'm trying to understand is why did the prince escape with the sister and not with, her, with his fiance? Like, how did two of them escape, but not the third one that should be the one to escape? Exactly. Well, That's they escaped the because. Yeah, they were chasing. You know, Satabos actually really loves her much more than he loves me. So he sacrificed you for her. Well, I offered. I offered because I thought oh, I would just be ransomed or something. But they had a chance to get away. Hmm. That way they, they could be together. So then you don't want to be with him. Well, we would have swapped anyway before the wedding. <laughs> I didn't uh, write this story. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. It's a, it's a, <laughs> I just so totally going. <laughs> So uh, the Ashuri that were following them, are those like are those a real threat, or are they like in on this whole charade? They will not know. They think that they, they are really the princely couple. Okay, so we still need to go rescue them. Of course, of course, yes. I want you to rescue okay, them. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> there will be gold in it for you. I promise. If you bring us home, if you bring us to my father or to the king of Karaja, then. You will be rewarded. Yeah, but do we have any like? We don't have any. Do we have any chance on catching up to them? You said they were on horseback. I can't have gone that far. We have to try. Yeah, we need to get moving, don't we? No time like the like the prison. But right, let's quickly see if there's any supplies in this wagon, and then we need to get going. All right, you'll find. Yeah, I'll exactly. just make it a bit quick. You'll find a uh, supply for another for another day for you, basically, which is good, but only one day. So worth of supply um are you going to allow ask um what's his name asanda to come along and help or do you basically just say of course i can't trust you 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 look yourself, uh, after yourself go away do we really trust him to come with us no but even he stay come with us anyway more men the better we give him one chance he never attacked us did he even though his men he didn't now. attack you his men did but there's he's, only two, two and a half left of them. The other one is recovering because he was just sort of stared into su uh, submission rather than beaten into submission. <laughs> right. So, yeah, As Asander, gather your men. Let's go. Uh, we, perhaps we can treat the wound that he has. But uh, Yeah, we have a I'll healer, have right? Our healer wants to give it another go. I'll see how successful you are. I can heal as well. Whoever wants a heal, I'm the healer. You can assist if you like. I am not a healer. Yeah, I do the wounds, not the healing. <laughs> <laughs> I make the wounds. Yeah. I make the holes. He plugs them. Oh, then let's I'll see. assist. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, then I roll my assist dice real quick. Yeah. Mm, yes. That's good. So, and then the main roll. Ooh. Okay, you're patching him up quite nicely with two successes, so his wound is healed. Um, or at least oh, everyone is treated. Me? It's treated. And he reckons that he can come along and help you a little bit. Uh, on that note, we recover our vigor on the end of the combat. Yes, at the end of yeah. the fight, you recover your right. vigor. Yeah. Nobody got no wounded, wounded from right? your side. Yeah. Um, that is good, but I certainly, after this little show, need to up my, my opponent numbers. I've just used them <laughs> from the scenario so far. They didn't have a chance against you, did they? Mm -hmm. the I expect to be a bit harder. Speaking <laughs> of next time, you yeah. basically gather up your your troops here. You try to find any, any other supplies. If you want to really frisk this place, you probably could find some more loot here. But that's up to you. And by the way, how much doom did uh, you start with? Six? 
I started with six, unless Ben did a little bit. You should have started uh, with eight. You should, no, I don't you, know you how should much have started with three per character. Like twelve. Twelve, you should have had. I can't do maths. So that's I don't know if one per fortune <laughs> point. Says the teacher. <laughs> one per, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's one per fortune point. Oh, yeah, next time I'll just give myself a couple of bonuses. So that's fine. If you want more Doom, then that's fine. But I should use it more. You're right. It's all learning. So, um, yeah. the yeah, you're gathering them up. You're basically saying, with a, setting your, your eyes onto the horizon, say, we must rescue these people. And of course, you now have a few more people with you to look after, including a princess. But she seems to be quite feisty. Mm. Yeah, she finds some more decent clothes. She may ask you for one of the cloaks that you have. Yeah, wrap her around you don't her want to burn. protect her a little bit better. Mm -hmm. She even picks up a couple of the armor pieces from the other one, uh, from the fallen soldiers, and straps them on. Oh, okay. So she seems yeah. to be quite feisty. And what to search for the uh, in general here? <laughs> okay. Do yeah. you Sorry. want? To, what, what sort of stuff do you want? What are you looking for? Wealth or supplies? Um, I don't know about the rest of the group. Supplies, maybe? Yeah, supplies. I've already given you some supplies. Or do we we are, okay. Yeah, we already we got supplies. supplies. Yeah. So I give you two time. more 20 rolls you can do, and then we're going to call it the night first. Yep. Okay. Just about from reaching our time limit. that back in so people can see it the list here Loot. and cactus have a bit of water in them that you can drink if you have to if you know how to do it cactus you can do personal. You yeah. spotted the cactus on my map have you yeah there's lots of <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to tap it for water no i suppose my skills are more bound not this climate so are we going to have a d20 roll from somebody a loot roll go for it I, I'll do. I'll do one. Oh, you can just do both if you like. Okay. Let's do roll two d twenty, and then we we read them separately. There so it's a six and a seventeen. So the six is you see, there's a, a little wooden box, and it seems to have some some medicine supplies in it. Oh. Mm. Now one of you has a little something for a wound or something. One of you has a, tr uh, a way of using these supplies for, for treatment. I think it's more a task. I'm not quite sure. Uh, no. A medic. I remember I writing... I thought letters. nobody had... Oh, no. Um... No, no. Uh, I have this uh, a little to ease the pain. That's what it was. Uh, when using medicine from a healer's bag, each load adds two D20s to the healing test instead of the usual one. So essentially, you have three extra bits of healer bag supplies. All right. There you go. And the other and, one uh, was a. The other one was a seventeen. Seventeen and a six. Another personal token. Um. You find a set of dice. Gambling. Good for gambling. Yeah. Okay. They look quite nice. They're sort of blue marbled with a little bit of gold vein, and it looks really nice. Wonderful. Well, that's Please good. come in handy. Yeah. Good. And with that, yeah, we, we zoom out as you all guys. You shoulder your pack, bags, you you um, set your eyes on the horizon, and you stomp off down this gully with the other people coming behind you. Slightly less uh, determined looking than you. And I think at that point, we might just say next week, same next time, week. same place. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's good. Hopefully start at 7, 7 UK time. Yeah, hopefully a little yeah. last minute changes from me. Yeah, yeah okay, hopefully. Oh, okay. And hopefully nothing last minute from me either, because it can happen. Um, so thank you very much for playing. I'm going to close the, the, the stream first, and then we can have a quick chat how it went overall. But I think that's for us and not for the stream. So thank you very much for those people still watching, for Klagos friends and for Kaida Weiser. So good to see you, and I hope you're going to be back. And of course, in about, I don't know, a few days, this will also go on our YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel, on the English-speaking one. So if you want to catch up later, you can also do that. Thank you very much for keeping us company. So farewell.